This video is supported by DIY Guru, the maker's learning platform. From now onwards, tourists in Mysore can enjoy their tour on electric bikes. The Goa based electric vehicle tourism startup BeLive launches rental electric vehicles at Mysore. Mysore will be the first city in Karnataka to offer electric bikes to tourists. So, from now onwards, Mysore to provide a clean and green mode of transport to tourists to help reduce air pollution by tourist vehicles. The company offering a tour pack package of Mysore along with a guide who have complete knowledge about Mysore will guide the tourists and introduce to culture, food and art of Mysore. A person would be charged Rs 2000 for a full tour of Mysore on e-bike which includes one free meal. Revolt Motors has tied up with Vodafone Idea to provide 4G IoT connectivity for Revolt electric bikes. Revolt Intel Corp to enable features such as geofencing, bike locator and real-time bike information and diagnostics in its RV400 and RV300 bikes. Currently, the RV400 is priced at 98,999 rupees and the RV300 is priced at 84,999 rupees. The Rajasthan State Road Transport Corporation RSRTC has issued a tender for 50 air-conditioned electric buses under the Phase 2 of FAME scheme. Interested bidders can submit their bids by October 21st of 2019. The successful bidder will be provided demand incentives under the FAME 2 program by RSRTC. These electric buses will be 12 meter length and have the capability to run a minimum of 300 kilometers range on a single charge. The New York based shared electric vehicle startup Reval has got a fresh funding of 27.6 million dollars from investors. The investors included Toyota AA Ventures, Blue Collective, Launch Capital and Manu Mobility. The startup is now planning to expand their EV services in New York. The electric mopeds can run with a top speed of 30 miles per hour and the company also provides two helmets and single-use liners on every ride and requires users to be licensed drivers with aged 21 or older which pass an initial safe driving history check and the company is targeting about 10 cities by mid-2020. Delhi Metro Rail Corporation DMRC has authorized e-scooters renting services at four metro stations to provide last mile connectivity to commuters. The e-scooter renting services are available at Vishwa Vidyalaya, Mandi House, Dwarka Sector 9 and Nehru Enclave Metro Stations. These electric scooters are provided by QQuick, an app-based electric scooter sharing service for shorter distances. These electric scooters are equipped with GPS navigation which helps to know the kilometers traveled and the commuters who want to use this service must provide a valid identity proof to the service operators before they are allowed to ride. The electric scooters are literally expensive than the bicycles as they have to pay 1 rupee per kilometer. Indian government is planning to offer full or 50% concessions on toll fees of electric vehicles. The Road Transport and Highways Minister is working on the new toll policy which may exempt the electric vehicles from toll fee or either up to 50% discount on such tolls for electric vehicles. The proposal will support the government's push to incentivize and to adopt electric vehicles as much as possible. The National Highways Authority of India NHAI has sent the draft policy of toll for the consultation in the nodal ministry of road transport and highways which will be sent for Mr. Nitin Gadkari for final approval. If this file is approved, electric vehicle owners can enjoy huge benefits as well as creates a positive environment for electric vehicle shift in India. Go green, go electric. Electric vehicles taught in motto is keeping the earth a safer place to live for the next generations. If you want to join our movement, you can support simply subscribing to our channel or sharing our videos or commenting on videos. Thanks for watching.